What's up everybody, Spectrum here with another episode of Tech Tips. This is going to be a kind of different episode of Tech Tips where I go over the M16 and kind of my first, first thoughts of it. So the M16, as many people will tell you, has had a massive, massive power down. Infinity Ward have had two games in a row where the M16 has been an incredibly powerful weapon. The COD 4, it was the best assault rifle. Modern Warfare 2, on its own it wasn't so great, but if you slapped on the holographic sight, you were, you were better than the FAMAS in Modern Warfare 2, you just were. And I think this never got the attention it deserved because the FAMAS was easier to use with other with you know the other attachments in the game like silencer like FMJ um, and obviously the one man army noob tubes got all the attention of overpowered well overpowered nature anyway the M16 in this game is basically everything you could have done to balance the M16 it, to me it feels more like the M16 from Black Ops very inconsistent in terms of getting you one burst kills, a lot of recoil, and very, very bad at close range. It does fire slower than the M16 from Black Ops, but to me, this isn't a huge deal. Like, my trigger finger is better when you pace it, so to me, it really doesn't matter. This gameplay, just gonna mention it, it's very, very slow paced. I don't get a ton of kills. Um, you know, this is the kind of gameplay I'd expect from a new gun, and uh you know this is kind of my testing out style of gameplay I don't generally try to rush I well unless it's a shotgun obviously and you get taken out from the bunker which everyone goes in an outpost this is actually a class just thinking this is a class I use generally for all new guns with sleight of hand quick draw and then a, a third perk that I may need pairing up in this case marksman because the M16 and marksman is really really good and as you can see, we've come back to a, another spot where I'm, I can look down a long line of sight with some decent cover. It's not the best spot in the game, it's a very, very obvious one, but you can kind of use that tarpaulin to kind of constrict your view of your body so that they can't get as many... Well, it's it's more of a more of a, a psychological thing. Then They still get shots on you, but they may try and aim a little harder to get a full shot on you. It, it's confusing but it does work so try that out when you're on outpost just hide behind the tarpaulins and and try and get uh try and get some form of uh protection from it it does work occasionally as you've probably seen i am using the scorpion secondary mainly because the fmg nines people do complain they're overpowered and it's not like i'm trying to save myself from any hate because I'll, I'll use whatever guns i mean i'm not bothered but the um, reason I've changed to the Scorpion is I'm trying to get the Scorpion with the uh, Akimbo to see if it would, it could be a worthy replacement of the FMG9s when they get patched. Infinity Ward are actually doing some gun balancing patches this week and the FMG9s are on their list, they tweeted it out. And I believe if they go the same route with the Model 1887s, they're not going to be very good anymore as a secondary. They're going to completely nerf them. They'll basically not kill at all with a Kimbo unless the guy's right in front of you. That's what they did with the Model 1887s. You know, they. I don't want that to happen. I think people complaining about the game makes the game worse. I bet you anything in about, I don't know, I'll say a few weeks' time when, you know, the FMG9s have been patched. People will be complaining that there's no decent secondaries anymore. I, I guarantee that will happen. So, you know, whatever. I'm just using the Scorpion to see if it's a decent enough replacement to see if Akimbo is any good. Because I have actually tested all of the uh, Akimbo SMGs, their kind of draw out time, their recoil and such, and the Scorpions have decent kind of draw time and very very low recoil so they don't you know they don't really uh well i don't know i think they they could have a chance of being the replacement for the 188 uh, not the 1887s the um 
the FMG nines. This spot here, by the way, very very powerful. Um, I was using my Scorpion because, as you've probably seen already, the uh, M16 does not go close range. And yes, I did just beat FMG9 spraying with a Scorpion. So I'm thinking these might be better close range weapons. We'll have to see, but for now, whatever. I do switch the M16 though because I believe I could channel them through this door. And I did throw a flash around there. Basically, that was to test to see if anyone was in there. And you'll also see I was using ba uh, Bouncing Betty's this gameplay. I'm kind of enjoying using the Bouncing Betty's at the moment because grenades don't do anything for me. They they never get me kills. If they do, it was a really obvious grenade. And could have, you know, a Bouncing Betty is just better in most occasions, I feel, because you can kind of cut off roots. It's like a claymore, but you don't actually have to go to where you want the claymore to be. You can kind of toss it around. So it's very useful. It doesn't get you like a ton of kills, but it does work. It is very, very useful at times. And unfortunately, I get picked off by, uh, by a random new player. But, uh, yeah, I was trying to check if that was a hacked care package, and it does unfortunately pick some prey later on. Back to the M16. What I'd say about it, rapid fire I don't think would make that much of a difference. These are only my first impressions, but to me, I think it's better off with something like kick and a red dot. Unless you're used to the iron sights, then you can go straight ahead with rapid fire. But it could also be good with a silencer. You'd have to see. I don't know. It's all down to personal preference in the end. And yeah. But I, I actually like the M16. To me, it's one of two things. First off, it's just kind of a... Well, it's kind of a fun weapon. It's a gun that, you know... a a decent, a, you know, average player can say, right, I'm not going for good gameplays, I'm just going for a bit of fun, I'll use the M16. That's the kind of scenario I imagine them to be in. It's not a try-hard weapon by any means. However, I'd also say it's a good gun for bad players. Now, what I mean by this is, bad players at the game, generally quite new, not used to, you know, how the game works, perhaps, or just not very skilled at FPS. So... They still try and run around the map, they still try and get these rush gameplays, which, you know, for all they know, are the best to get, but they're not getting them. I'm one of these players, I'm I'm really not good at rushing at all, which is why I like the FMG9s, because they allow me to just spray and pray all day, every day. Unfortunately, this guy here has a Saturn on, and I get completely confused. I see the guy on the radar, and see this guy way too late. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Anyway, bad players at the game, generally not skilled at FPS, they're better at getting in those long range engagements. And the M16 is a gun that forces you to be in those long range engagements. It forces you to play defensively, which is brilliant for bad players because bad players can play defensively. There's no there's no there's nothing wrong with it. You can sit back and you can pit people across map. You know, you may not enjoy it, but you, well, you know, that may be what you need. Another point here I'm going to make is that I'm using a setup with just two kill streaks, the UAV and the counter UAV on support. Reason being is that with the new gun, I generally don't like to handicap my team by not putting up streaks, so I don't run anything like specialist or assault. Just run count UAV and counter UAV, you can cycle through them constantly, and you'll at least have some form of air support up in the air. I wouldn't recommend putting anything else on the end of it. The highest thing other than that is the SAM turret. And what, 8 kills? Every 8 kills you're cycling through. At best, you know, on a bad game, you'd have to get 16 kills just to cycle through them twice. Whereas you can go 5, 5, 5, you know, that's 15. That was 3 UAVs and 3 counter UAVs. I know Assassin's around, but it was still useful for the team. You still get to pinpoint where certain people are. So I, I'm kind of liking the M16. I wouldn't use it consistently, but it's decent gun. That's my first impression. When I level it up, which I will be doing uh, soon, I will be trying to level up most guns I'm testing out to the point where I've got gold camo on them, I'm believing. Uh, I'll give you another kind of recap. But for now, that was the Spectrum, and I'm signing off. Peace.